Hey, what's up guys? It's Nuka Clear one here, and I'm back again after a while of not uploading videos. Uh, what you see here is part two of my coin haul from the coin store and flea market in Tel Aviv. This is what I have left to show you. It's all a little disorganized, forgive me with that, but there's some sense in the mess that I made here. I tried filming another video with the same thing, but I had problem with the camera focus and memory on the device. I'm filming on my phone because I can't seem to find a decent video camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a select few from each pile and show them on big, big boy magnifying glass I have here. <laughs> and then I'll show some cool stuff from the carded section over here. So I'm on vacation for some holidays. So I'll upload another video down to uh, in about a week or so with some more video uh, coins. Without further ado, let's begin. So we'll start off with there's some let there be light, right? Let's start up with start off with sorry. Let's start off with some uh, Romanian coins. All right, so over here we have uh, here. Publica Socialista Romania, nineteen sixty six. It's a really nice looking coin. That's one low. And this is 15 bunny from also Romania. So they all kind of look the same, these coins. Let me try and turn the camera around. I'm sorry. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> that doesn't work well, out well. It'd be for the little confusion I had here. Let's look at the rest of the stuff. So, so over here we have some Soviet coins. You can see some assorted different Copex stores. You got some 15 Copex, 10 Copex, 2 Copex from 61, 91, 77, 89. And then I have this little cool one. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm breathing a little too heavy. I'm uh, well, I'm a little under, feel a little under the weather. Let me show this a little better under light too. You can see there's a Lenin under there. Some good stuff. All right, moving on. Let's show you first the Egyptian coins. The 25 piastres. 1990 something. I got this because I really like coins with hole a hole in the middle and I like Arabian ones too. Sorry. Uh one I think either piastres or dinar. Actually not one, ten, because this is a one, this is a zero in Arab numerals. Nineteen seventy something I think. Or nineteen actually nineteen seventy, yeah. This coin actually might have a bit of value. I'm gonna have to look that up. Um move it on. Uh, uh have some coins from Yugoslavia. This is one dinar from 63. I actually first thought this was fake or some token or something like that, and even play money, but it's just really, really light aluminum, I think. It's a really nice design on the back. Same with the larger denomination, 51. It's a really nice looking design on the back there. Plus it's cool to hold something from a country that doesn't exist anymore. Yugoslavia. All right, moving on. I have some coins from Taiwan. Some of these I, I know, usually I think I have a bit of value to them. I just don't know how to look it up. But they're really nice coins. I like the ones with the portraits facing forward. Some nice coins nonetheless. Let's move on to here. Got some. Swiss coins, those are really nice to collect because I think some of them actually are usually silver. This is 55, 48, and 44. And yesterday I found one which I think was a 42. And backs all look the same. The rose thingy on the back here. Really nice coins. If you ever find any, always look up if maybe they have some silver content in them. Next one is two i can't read it but i know it's bulgaria and so it's bulgarian currency 1962 a really nice looking thing 
at first I thought it was perhaps Russian, but the numbers are different. Design is different, but very similar though. Let's move on to Turkey. 1953 10 Cruz, I think it's pronounced. Really nice coin. Oh, it's not 53, it's 58, sorry. Really nice looking coin right here. And this is probably the, by, by far my most favorite one from the collection. That So not the collection it's nice itself, but what I found. 10 Febe, I think it's called Febe, from Ethiopia. And my favorite thing about it was this really cool looking lion. Check that out. That is some really nice design they put on that. All right, let's move on to some Canadians. This is, sorry, one cent from 51 with King George on it. And one set cent with a young Queen Victoria, sort of beat up over here. And next up, some sorted British coins. I have two, two three pence coins. This one has really nice toning on it. That's 44 and that's 43. This is oh yeah, half a penny, 59. I really like the boat on it. I like these larger ones. Here, Queen Victoria. That's a 57, half a crown. Really good one. And I always like King George coins. Really cool. That's 48. Two shillings and the really good one. 1919 large penny. And this I think King George Senior. It's a really good coin. Right, let's move on to the carded things. This is a cool one. Don't see a lot of them in the Israel. This is a buffalo nickel I found in a junk pile. It's dateless. No date here. I wrote the details on the back. It's a really good looking coin. My first one. This one I think is valuable. It looks like a commemorative Philippines coin. I don't know what it's quite commemorating though. I'll figure it out. It's 25 centavos? Yeah. This is from 1979, I think. Yeah. All right. Next one is this 90% Roosevelt dine from 46 that I found. Those are really good looking. And the two best ones, I think, from the whole bunch are these two Palestine mills that I found. Let's see if I can get this to focus a little better. Or if not, just go under the light here. There you go. This is 44. One mill. And the next one is 42. One mil. Good stuff. Oh, sorry. Uh, these I'll probably be selling at a convention that's going to be around in like two weeks in a stud. I'll probably sell some of these here or can probably keep some for the collection, like the Ethiopian one. But nonetheless, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this was short video, I guess. And uh, I felt like this wasn't maybe as good as my other one or my other videos. Uh, I'm just a little sick. I'll, I'll try to upload another video soon, and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.